If scenic landscapes are what you're looking for, take a trip through farm country. Spring colors combined with agriculture offers much to see. And depending on what region of Idaho you're in, the beginning of 2016 crops can be seen in various stages. In the Treasure Valley, the plant is mostly in the ground and some harvest has begun, according to farmer Dan Walton from Jim County. We've been in the field quite a while. This is the, the tail end of us planting. Uh, we've got corn that's uh, up about three inches already, some of it. Uh, been kind of a early. We've already cut hay. Uh, we've got uh, part of our hay already down. So it's, it's just been an odd year. I've never cut hay in, in April before. Uh, typically don't plant corn until uh, I try to be, be done by the 20th of May and we're going to be done long before that. Walton says hay harvest so far looks healthy thanks to 2016 technology. Uh, hay that we've cut, the one field we cut is some uh, GMO uh, hay that for some reason that stuff buds earlier than regular hay. And so we had to cut it because it was starting to get into the bud. It won't make dairy quality if we don't get it down. The rest of our hay we're going to start cutting tomorrow. Uh, it's also good stands. Uh, it looks like good heavy crop. Along the Snake River on the Idaho-Oregon border, farmer Dan Miyasako of TNK Farms has all but his corn and beans in the dirt. We've got sugar beets planted, onions planted, wheat seeds of all winter wheat, so it's all, you know, all established. Uh, here coming up next week, we'll probably be into uh, planting sweet corn seed and uh, uh, some beans, some bean seed. Miyasako says the unknown future of the 2016 crop is all a part of farming. That that's part of farming. It's pretty unpredictable. <laughs> that's probably what, what draws us to it. Is uh, you never know what to what to predict. Uh, you know, right now the you know the commodity prices are a little bit depressed, but uh, we're not. You know, since last year was such a good onion year, and then we're not expecting a, a real good onion year this year. You know, and, but you never know. You, I mean, you never know. It takes any more. It's a world market, and it takes a natural disaster someplace in, in the world to bring the onion market around again to where, you know, we have two good years or three good years in a row. Farming in other regions of Idaho tends to lag behind the Treasure Valley due to colder temperatures, but regardless of the area, farmers hope the beauty of spring and crops beginning to thrive will lead to a profitable fall harvest. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.